Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a, another mask first impression. I feel like this is a lot closer to my last one than I normally do them, but I actually got a request for this mask. Her name is Forever K. I've said it before and I will say it again to all my new subscribers. If you request a video, I will shout you out if I do it. This is a good way if you have a small YouTube channel. Comment down below what videos you want me to do. This is the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Soothing Watermelon and Aloe Cooling Gel Mask. I was very intrigued by this one, but at the same time, I didn't jump to get this one just because it says soothing. I don't know, for some reason, I feel like it's going to be similar to a hydrating glacier water. This says it's a soothing cooling gel mask. We will see. This cooling gel mask is a must-have for sensitive skin. Juicy watermelon extract delivers refreshing hydration for breakout prone skin, which I don't really have. Aloe leaf juice is a powerful calming ingredient that soothes the skin. Directions apply to clean face and neck, avoiding contact with eyes and hairline. Leave on for 10 minutes, then rinse off with warm water. Use twice a week or as often as needed. Instantly nourishes and calms for refreshed skin. So what I was thinking was if this doesn't really do much to me like right now, then I might try it after I do whatever that super powerful clay mask is, you know. Maybe I'll do it after that. Normally I'll do like a sheet mask or something after that one so my skin isn't totally like dead. Maybe this will be a good mask if you have like sensitive skin or just like really dry skin to do after like a clay mask. I haven't even tried it so I need to like hurry up and try it. I just washed my face with a cream cleanser. Let's just get to trying this mask. And I love watermelons, so I'm really excited to see what this smells like. It doesn't say how much to apply. It says avoiding eyes and hairline, but I normally put all masks if they're hydrating under my eyes. I went to Walmart yesterday to get this mask. I was going to get new Flower Beauty stuff, and I was going to pick up another Freeman mask that I love because I was going to film a, like, top three Freeman masks, but, like, it's only in a packet and they didn't have the mask that I wanted. I know it's pretty new but like it's been on Ulta's website for a while and like I went to Ulta the other day to get it. The slots were empty so I really don't think that it was already sold out. It was a little frustrating because I went to two different Walmarts yesterday. It's 8.45 right now. I'm gonna leave it on until like 8.55 but I'm just gonna sit here and chat. Yesterday was just kind of annoying. Like I never do this but I feel like this is like a fun sort of video where it's like mask and chat. Just do some mask first impressions and then do some where I like actually just like talk to you while it's drying. I feel like this is nothing like my favorite like moisturizer mask this is a lot stickier and i feel it drying that one like sunk into the skin like really fast so back to my rant literally every time i go to walmart i see this face mask like every time and i never pick it up because i already have it but then now that i actually want to film a video with it like of course it's not going to be there they don't have a full size of it anywhere like i've never seen a full size and i like looked it up last night and apparently they have like the full size in like the uk i hadn't went into dollar tree for a while because I had just gone to Ulta and it was a bust. Like, I literally walked out with nothing. That never happens because I wanted, like, the Emily Edits palette, like, the wants. I really want to get that palette so much just to support Emily and because it's beautiful and I love it. I'm super proud of Emily, though. I'm glad that it was sold out. Like, that makes me happy seeing it was sold out. Then I went to Dollar Tree because I was like, I haven't been to Dollar Tree in so long and, like, I just want to walk around. I didn't even go in for anything. And, like, the movie bin, they have some Blu-rays of stuff. And then they also have, like, regular DVDs. Guess what movies were in there on Blu-ray? Ray. Paper Towns and The Fault in Our Stars. I've only seen both of those once. I hated the movies because I hated the endings, but it's fine. I was like, for one dollar, bro, I'm getting those movies. I would have never bought them if they were at Walmart for like five dollars, but one dollar? Are you serious? And I also always go in there to see if they have any more wrapping paper, but they never do. It's fine. They have like a bunch of holographic ones. Would y'all like me to have holographic backgrounds? They have a lot of those and I just never get them because I feel like the light would like reflect a lot. I really like this. Just like like literally just sitting here talking while I have a face mask on. This is real fun. So I recently discovered the best donuts ever. These donut holes from Dunkin' Donuts. They have jelly filled donut holes. Oh my goodness. They are so good. I went to two different Walmarts yesterday and there's Dunkin' Donuts by both of them. So the first one I got like a 10 count and they literally had like one dot of jelly in them. And then whenever I went to my Walmart, and then like on the way home, I got Dunkin' Donuts there, and I got the 25 count. I don't regret it. They were filled with jelly so much. I was just like sopping out, and I was like, these are so much better. If you get them, and they have a dot of jelly, maybe try somewhere else, because they might just be jipping you. That was my rant. Well, that was so fun. Like, people probably aren't going to click on this video now that they see it's really long, but it's about to be 8.55. So I'm going to go ahead and make my way to wash this off, and by that time, it will be 8.55. It says to wash it off with warm water, but honestly, I'm just going to wash it off with whatever comes out of the faucet. So here's my skin. 
I know I didn't show you close up like this to my skin, but like it doesn't really look different. Obviously it feels softer because that's how it's going to feel with every face mask, or at least it should. I think what I'm going to do is come back and test this after I've done that face mask because I can't really see anything special. Where I feel like this would come in handy would be after a sunburn. I can definitely feel the aloe. That's what was so sticky was the aloe. This is probably going to be a long video now that I did like that satin sit and shit. Sit and chit, sat and chat. I will have tam tam stamps. I will have time stamps of everything down below. So I'm gonna be back in two seconds for the super red face, and I'll probably be wearing something different. I just did the face mask. I feel like my face isn't as red as normal, but you can kind of see like a difference. My face is like super sensitive right now. I'm just gonna put this on. My face hasn't been this soft in so long. Like I forgot how soft my face could be, so hopefully after this, it's going to be even softer. I'm not in my background. I just wanted to get in comfy clothes. Be back in 10 minutes. Since it needed that moisture, literally sucked it in. There's just a sticky layer on my skin right now, and it hasn't even been 10 minutes. So we'll see what happens at 10 minutes, and then when I wash it off, hopefully my face will feel really good. Not like sandpaper anymore. This is definitely what I'm talking about. I just washed it off. Here's my skin. Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. What is that from? Definitely like this a lot more after a pore clearing product. Whenever I put it on, my face felt like sandpaper like it normally does after that mask. Now it doesn't, like I could wipe it off with a towel and it didn't hurt. This is such a good mask. I don't necessarily think I would repurchase it. Sorry, I'm just getting glue out of my... I might as well multitask. But if you're someone who has dry or sensitive skin, and you like doing pore clearing face masks, but you just feel like every time you do them, your face feels like sandpaper and it feels so dry. Whenever I normally finish with a pore clearing mask, I want to follow up with like a sheet mask or at least like some sort of moisturizing mask afterwards. I feel like that has like benefits of a sheet mask without the inconvenience, if that makes sense. My skin felt like the way that a sheet mask does, except I still had to add a moisturizer afterwards because you wash it off. And like I don't ever wash off my sheet mask. This isn't as much of a bust as my last mask because my last one was just like meh. At least I could give like a reason for you to get it behind it. Normally it takes at least 30 minutes to an hour for my face to go back to normal whether it's not red or not being so dry and like a desert. I really really do like this. I will definitely use it up. I see way more of a reason to be using this than the bubble mask. I'm glad I did this little second impression. I just feel like that works so much better for like a follow-up mask. Sheet mask to me I don't just use sheet masks on a gross face. I want to clean out my face and then use a sheet mask. Gross as in like clogged. I feel like this is perfect for that. It's definitely nothing like this mask. One other thing I forgot to mention, normally whenever I do a pore clearing mask, especially that super intense one, this moisturizer isn't enough. Normally I have to follow up with an oil or a deeper moisturizer, but like my skin feels so good right now. It's so soft and like I don't feel dry at all. So that's my thoughts on this mask if you're still watching at this point honestly leave watermelon emojis down below definitely pick it up give it a go if you have sensitive skin and you have difficulty using clay masks i really hope you all enjoyed this video if you did i would love it if you subscribe down below and please give this video a big thumbs up it means so much to me thank you so much for watching bye